Okay, so um, I've really struggled with a lot of things in my life, and one of them is finishing games. Uh, it's not so much actually getting through to the final part of the game, actually shipping it, but it's with all the stuff that happens after the game gets released. Uh, I mean, it's it, you're giving creation to something, and then you kind of put it out in the world, and, and there's kind of this gap. So hopefully, um, you guys can can find some strength or some help in what I'm about to tell you. Um, but I, I couldn't really construct a message for myself um, through any other medium than writing myself some kind of freeform letter. Because there's a lot of things where I have to separate myself from them in order to best understand them. So here goes. Oh, so this is feeding back like a mother. There we go. Dear Gigi, it's you, Gigi. I've been meaning to write for a while. A lot's happened in the past year, especially after being involved in Hyperlight Drifter. Why have you made a game recently? It's been well over a year. So what's happened? What's changed? What is... What's your behaviour now that you've gone through that process? To be honest, I think we need to talk about your emotions. This is something that is hard for you, isn't it? Talking about emotions. Listen. There are three parts to making a game. There is discipline, there is inspiration, and there's empathy. You need inspiration to set a goal, you need discipline to achieve it, and you need empathy to understand what it's doing. Juju, empathy is not something that you're good at. It's something that means you have to get into the head of other people, into the head of yourself, to really understand what's going on, what's making them tick. And it's not something that has rules, it's not something that has some kind of pattern that you can learn and perfect. It's imperfect, it's messy, and it's difficult. Well, hello. Is your industry institutionally shy? Because everyone finds this difficult, I think. Everyone finds... it. It's a struggle to talk about emotions, especially in an industry that's dominated by people who sit at computers and don't necessarily talk to other people face to face so often. But I think ultimately, what the actual problem is, is that we're beset on all sides by dickheads. <laughs> okay, we, we have a lot of the, the toxic behavior in some parts of some player communities, but I think there's a lot of toxicity that also happens inside developer communities as well. I wonder how many of your friends have suffered too, Juju, and they haven't actually said anything. Maybe it's a lot, maybe it's none, maybe you're the only person, but the only way to find out is to start talking. Let's try some honesty today. After every project you've ever finished, Juju, you have been profoundly depressed. I mean, the lowest that people can be. It's affected you permanently, those scars will not go, and you've got to live with that. This is why I'm using the black paper. Also, it makes it easier to take photos as well, so I'm told. Games require an emotional investment. And when you release that game, you put it out in the wild, that emo emotional investment goes with it. You don't get to keep that stuff. It's gone. And every single one of your projects is unique. And they've all screwed you up in unique ways. Let's go through a few of them, just so you can understand what I'm talking about. Time-traveling space pirates. It's a happy-go-lucky arcade shoot 'em up It's made in two weeks for the 2016 Low Res Jam with a team of three people. Myself being one, an artist, and another programmer. I also did all of the audio as well. They're super supportive. And you couldn't stop for a month. You couldn't sleep for a month after it was released. And it's because of this that your relationship at the time started going down the tubes. Six months later, I did the 60 FPS update for Hyperlight Drifter. The best thing that could possibly have happened for me is being involved in a game that large. I don't have that much experience in games, and yet they chose me. I worked 300 hours in four weeks to achieve this. That's a lot of time. And it was my decision. No one forced me to do this. No one said you'll lose your job if you don't doesn't make it any easier that I still went through it. And I coped with this by drinking a lot. 
every day. And it didn't stop after it was released. I was fixing bugs, bugs drunk on that game. And you'd be amazed how many bugs there aren't in the game, more to the point. And to cope with this, Gigi, he made a game called A Mind is a Small Place. It was released earlier this year. He did it in three days to make this, this powerful game that has moved people. Everybody that has played it, Gigi, everybody that's played it has been impacted by it. He came 25th overall out of how many thousands of games was out there? And despite its impact on people, I can't play that game. Despite how it makes other people feel, no matter the strength and the power that it has for them, I can't play it. It's robbed from me. The act of finishing defines how you, Juju, defines how you experience the game. Just the act of finishing. I'm proud of my achievements, but because you find it hard to cope, I don't get to enjoy them. There's nothing there for me now. Some days you resent your work. Isn't game death fun? Isn't it full of joy? But you don't have to feel bad because you finished making a thing. As bad feelings aren't to do with your work, those bad feelings are to do with your routine. A routine gives you a sense of control in all of the wrong ways. It makes you think that you've got a handle on the emotional aspects of your game because you keep going. You think you know what you're doing. You find people who validate that and you keep working. But are you working for yourself? Or are you working for the routine? Don't become an extra in the walking dead, Gigi. Don't lurch from problem to problem, missing the bigger picture, missing all the little things in between, missing the detail. There's so much to love and so much to like out there. And you're denying yourself all of them because you're a zombie. The thing about finishing a thing is that it's incredibly lonely. You fall in love with a routine, with a manner of being, with habit. And then when it goes, you're left with not a lot. The teams that worked with you aren't around so much anymore. The three people that I worked with on Time Traveling Space Pirates, I don't talk to them. We did really well with that game. That's a great game. I don't talk to them. Those close to you don't understand what you went through. My girlfriend at the time didn't. And other people around me, my family didn't either. And more people have experienced your work on Hyperlight Drifter Juju than you could ever hope to talk to. I have no idea how, I expect, how I've impacted them at all. And my routine is not going to help me with this. A routine is a barrier to empathy. It prevents you from feeling, it prevents you from understanding, it prevents you from talking to people about their feelings. And it also prevents you from the fear, the doubt, the anxiety, and the horror of trying something new. And these are all part and parcel of making a game, of any work of art, really. You've got to approach them, you've got to be brave. Because there's always something new, Juju. There is always something new. After you finish something, there is something down the line. You can't do the same thing forever. Your work has to end. And your habits are not going to help you become a happier person. Exercise some self-empathy and question your routine. But not eating any chocolate. It's really bad for you, says the routine. And you say back to it, I'll eat a little bit, but not every day. Because I ain't going to deprive myself of the things that make me happy. Better not take time off. It's really bad for the game, says the routine. But I'll take this Monday off. I might do it every month. I ain't going to deprive myself of the things that make me happy. 
Don't let your routine control you. When you're ready, you'll do that something new. You don't need the same routines. And I promise, you won't feel bad making a thing. You'll get to enjoy it instead. Yours faithfully.